industrial gearboxes they are all around us. You might see them in mineral processing, you'll see them in marine applications, for instance anchors, winches, you'll see them on cranes. Mining, quarrying, power generation, steel, paper making, all use industrial gearboxes of one type or another. You will find them in every size, they can be very small, like micro gears up to several meters and when you see the biggest one in certain productions like a wind turbine for power generation they can have a diameter of several meters. The function of the industrial gearbox is to change the speed of the input. At the same time you increase the torque provided to the actual application that you require. The OEMs, the manufacturers of the gearbox, there's Flender, Rank, SEW, Timkin, Philadelphia Gear, some are global export gearboxes all around the world, others provide gearboxes just for their own local markets. The challenges are down to things like environmental conditions. For instance, in marine applications, a ship could be near the Arctic, and then a few weeks later it could be on the equator. Mining and cement production, quarrying, often suffer from a lot of particulate contaminant ingress into the gearbox which can cause lubrication problems. Paper industry, the steel industry can often suffer from excessive water contamination or water ingress into the gearbox, again causing problems for the lubricant to function. In addition, climates where there's high humidity, you can face condensation problems as the gearbox cools down. And water is the enemy of the bearings, so keeping industrial gearbox oils as dry as possible is essential to maximise the life of the gearbox. 20 years ago a gearbox may have been almost twice the size of what it is today. It will be lighter today, it will be able to handle more power throughput. The lubricant has to provide protection for gears and bearings under high load conditions.